Obviously, over the last six months, there have been an unprecedented number of Australians needing welfare assistance from the government, thanks to the lockdowns and so on. Unfortunately, Australia's welfare system has been described as punitive, cruel and damaging. To rub salt into the wound, the Minister for Families and Social Services, Anne Rustin, revealed last week in a Senate's estimates hearing that the government does not use a definition of poverty. She said, The government doesn't have a measure of poverty, which has been the practice of successive governments, because our payment system is very comprehensive and specifically targeted towards providing the policy outcomes that are defined by the particular support measures blah blah blah. Basically, that's code for, if the Australian government don't measure poverty, then perhaps it doesn't exist. Or more strongly, Australia doesn't have a poverty problem because the Australian government say so. Of course, critics have jumped on this and said that, Australia's welfare strategy has become more about deterring recipients and feeding bureaucracy than providing support. Here's an actual letter from Centrelink, Australia's welfare provider, dated 3rd of November 2020, with key information redacted to protect the identity of the individual. It states, Dear so-and-so, we are making the way you report your employment income easier. Now keep that statement in mind when we're reading through this. The goal of this is to make it easier for the welfare recipient. It states, Currently, you report the amount of gross pre-tax income you and or your partner get paid or expect to be paid for the hours you have worked in your reporting period. From 7th of December 2020, this will change. You will need to report the amount of gross pre-tax income you and or your partner were paid in your reporting period. You can find this information on your payslip or from your employer. You will still need to do this on your normal reporting day. The gross pre-tax amount is what you get paid before anything is taken out. There are no changes to how you report your hours. Keep telling us how many hours you worked in your reporting period. How to report your income for the one reporting period that includes 7th of December 2020. For this changeover, you need to report differently for the one reporting period that includes 7th of December 2020, blah blah blah. You can also work it out by 1. Adding up any gross amounts of income you and or your partner are paid in the reporting period that includes 7th of December 2020. 2. Then take off any gross pre-tax amounts of income you already told us on 26th of November 2020. 3. This will give you the amount to report to us for this one time. Example, my previous reporting period was on Tuesday the 1st of December where I reported income I earned and expected to earn in that reporting period. This includes days I had not yet been paid which was $100 for one day's work. I work casually and get paid fortnightly. My next pay is on Tuesday, uh, Thursday the 10th of ne uh, December. My next reporting day is Tuesday 15th of December. The full gross amount I was paid on Thursday 10th of December was $250. My pay included $100 that I had already reported in the last fortnight. I will need to deduct this amount. $250 less $100 equals $150. On Tuesday 15th of December, I report $150 along with the hours I worked for that reporting period. It is okay that my pay and hours I report do not match, so I do not need to worry. Does anybody else know what the f they're talking about? How to report your income after the changeover period. After the one-off changeover report, you will only need to report the amount of income that you and or your partner are paid gross in your reporting period. Example, my next work pay day is Thursday 24th of December and I will report on Tuesday 29th of December. I will report the gross amount that my employer paid. I was paid $400 gross on Thursday 24th of December. On Tuesday 29th of December, I will report $400 along with my hours that I worked in that reporting period. It is okay that my pay and hours I report do not match. More information blah blah blah. Yours sincerely, Manager Chermsa. Thank you, Manager Chermside. You've really made that perfectly clear. Remembering that the ostensible goal of all of this is to make things easier for recipients, what I've learnt from reading this letter is that the Australian welfare system is bullshit.